What's up guys, this is Mighty here, bringing you a how to easily get the diamond SMGs within Black Ops 3. I did this Black Ops 2 on my old channel, I want to bring it back here on Black Ops 3 for my new channel, which is this channel. So make sure you subscribe, like the video for more diamond to gun tutorials and all cool stuff like that. I've just got the SMGs today and I am 4th prestige, it's been out for about a week and a half. Very quickly I've got the diamond guns, I'm really proud about it. And I think it's really cool. I'm definitely going to be covering the assault rifles, etc. when I get them done. I could have made this video ages ago, but I really wanted to get some diamond weapon gameplay for you guys just to prove that I have it. And I'll definitely be doing a showcase soon anyway. Anyway, let's get into it. So, to get the diamond weapons, you are basically going to have to use every single weapon in the game. You have to get the max camouflage for the weapons, every single SMG basically, to be able to require the diamond um, camo on the SMGs. So every SMG you have to get the gold camo for, as you probably know and see on the challenge. So this requires getting 100 headshots with each gun, which is kind of more time consuming than hard because eventually you get headshots anyway. You can go through them, I'm going to give you some tips on that now anyway. So basically what I like to use is, I sometimes like to use the grip and the um, quick draw. Sometimes a reticle, depending on what weapon it is, I used the reticle on the Weevil because that helped a lot. I didn't really use it on the Cuda much or anything like that, just for Weevil really, Razorback it can help as well, or the ELO site or any of them cool sites that are like a red dot, that helps for headshots. And then if I was struggling or like a, I'm using a gun that I like to hip fire a lot with, such as the Vesper, I just chucked a, uh, a laser sight on it and honestly the Vesper's hip fire is very good, you just aim at the top of their head, spray across and you'll easily get headshots and the Vesper was... By far, by far like one of the hardest guns to get the headshots for. So as you can see here, this is some Vespa gameplay that I'm using. And basically this gun is, um, you know, it's very good on hip fire. It's aim, like, aim down sight accuracy isn't the best. So it is kind of hard to, to keep getting the headshots with this gun, which was the hardest. I mean, the other challenge was really easy. Uh, so you definitely want attachments on this when going for the headshots, such as grip, quick draw, make it really good. Laser sight's pretty nice, and maybe even a reticle if you want a reticle on it. But honestly, headshots with the gun, they're not as hard as you think it's going to be. You can just put a laser sight on it and spray it the head, basically. Very good hip fire on this gun. Very fast fire rate, and you just spray above the head. Eventually, one will hit the head, and you'll get the headshot anyway. So I only want to single out this weapon just because it is one of the harder ones to use. The Cuda's very easily, deadly accurate. Again, it's just for standard quick draw and grip. Uh, reticle if you need, but I like the iron sights on it anyway. Vesper, again... I've just gone through that one. The Weevil, I prefer a reticle on because the iron sights aren't the best for getting headshots and it's a slow fire rate gun. The v Weevil was possibly one of the ones that took me the longest actually just because it's a hard gun to get used to. Not a lot of people use it because it's not one of the best SMGs. But once you get using it and once you get good with it, you do end up liking the SMG and I actually use it now quite a bit because I like the SMG. Uh, it's got a lot of mag capacity so it's really good for just spraying at heads anyway. And it does eventually kick up in the head with its recoil which is really nice. Um, moving on from that, there's a Razorback, that's very easy. The VMP is also very, very easy, again, the standard. Quick draw is just the thing you want to use on this, though. It is more accurate with just quick draw rather than quick draw and grip. Uh, when you put quick draw and grip on, it's more accurate, but it kicks a lot to the right. Just put quick draw on, it's more accurate because it just shoots straight up uh, or like, like in a, a small dot, so it kicks up to the head really nice, really good tip there. Might want to use a reticle on that if you're struggling to get headshots with the iron sight. Uh, the other gun is the... what is the other gun? What haven't I covered? Um, it's the Cuda, the Vesper, uh, the Faro, uh, that's the other one, sorry. Uh, the Faro is also a very easy one, definitely good for hip firing at headshots, I've put a laser sight on it, but put a reticle on it and you'll be getting headshots a days anyway, it's a burst weapon. I think it's one burst at the head, you can put high calibre on it to make it a uh, one burst on the head if they change that. Uh, because they did nerf it a, a, a bit back, but it's still a very good gun to use. So moving on after you get the headshots for the weapons, you need to do all the challenges such as 50 kills with 6 attachments, which is easy, it's basically just six six, um, 50 kills with no perks on the weapon class basically. They just mixed it up a bit in this game. And then 50 kills with no attachments, 5 bloodthirsties, 5 rapid kills basically, which is a double kill, so it's really easy on these maps because they're very small, compact, you can get them very quickly. Um, you need the 
I said bloodthirst is uh, you need the revenge kills, which is killing someone that's just killed you. Very easy to get that over time. Get it in about two, three games max anyway. And then I think that's all the uh, challenges like that you have to do after anyway. So it's a very, very easy challenges to do. They're not too tough. They're very easy. These, once you've done the headshots, it's, you know, four games to do the other challenges. Uh, if you, you can get 25 kills per game using the no attachments and the six uh, attachments, obviously you need primary gunfighter one, two, and three to do the six attachments. So I think it, after level 27 is when you're going to be able to do this. So definitely make sure that if you're not there, do the one with no attachments first. And you may want to consider even proceeding your weapon before you do the no attachments one so you can build it up over time. You know, very good tip there. It's it's really basic to do. You just want to grind it out. I prefer domination or team deathmatch to getting the headshots and stuff. Just because I feel like demolition, you're more objective based. Domination's objective based, but there's still a lot of killing in it and you can get a lot of kills per game and you know it's forty minutes if you have four games and it's very very easy. Uh, you do want to go for the headshots, really. Like, if you just play normally, you'll get a few headshots. Like, as I'm saying, four or five a game. If you are get, playing for headshots, I was averaging at 12 to 13 headshots a game. One game I had, I got 16 headshots when I was using the Weevil just because I was going for them. So if I got behind anyone, I'd aim up for the head and start shooting. Going in a gunfight, I'd gradually kick up to the head so it would... Uh, eventually you know kill them it does kill them faster anyway so it's a good it's kind of good practice to get into anyway because if you're going to be going up to the head to shoot them first i'm doing hand movements here while i'm talking about this <laughs> you're going to obviously kill them faster because of the headshot multiplier so you're going to get the kill faster anyway so when you're going for headshots you're going to get the kill even if you miss the first few shots because of the headshot multiplier and when going in normal gunfights not going for headshots if you get into the practice of just kicking it up anyway to get the headshot you're gonna get a lot more kills anyway. So really this is just a grind. I'd also suggest unlocking some of the SMGs or whatever gun class you're going through as a permanent unlock. So you can concentrate on the lower guns first and then eventually you can do the others without having to wait and go into different guns. Um, obviously you might wanna mess about with the different classes getting a headshot with each gun from a different class or anything. It's really up to you. The SMGs are one of the easiest to do because they're all pretty good. There's not an SMG that's particularly very bad. And it's a very fun challenge to do. I like to do it now because I know on Black Ops 2, I did it when I was Master Prestige and it was very boring just going for them. I like to do it when I'm ranking up. I've got more tutorials coming on the way, such as how to get the hero outfits because I've nearly done them. Loads of different tip videos for each character, each weapon class. Loads of different just challenges you can do and how you can do them. So, again... Hopefully these tips helped you out. I know they're nothing special, but they do outline some very major things that you need to think about when going for these headshot challenges. And the challenges after, like the blood first is, you'll get them over time of playing. You may want to go for them, you may not. I personally get them more often when I'm not going for them. Um, they're very, very easy challenges to do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed anyway. I don't want to keep this video going on too long because it's already eight and a half minutes now. Hopefully these tips will help you out and hopefully you will be getting diamond camos and I'll be seeing you a lot with diamond camos very soon. Make sure to post any photos of your diamond camos to me on Twitter, it's in the description or on Facebook. Like the video, leave a comment if this helped you or if you've got any tips for me on how I could get more headshots for different guns, that'd be great. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please remember to subscribe and like the video for more tips on Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and have a nice day. Peace.